Okay, the next model we're going to make is uh, 206-6-39. It is this rod support right here. Um, we'll, we'll not worry about the top here. The overall size, it says, is 2. Uh, point zero zero square by 3.5 so this square is 2.0 uh, this way and this way and then 3.5 from this end to this end uh, the bottom and the ends are 0.5 thick so the thickness of those walls are 0.5 all the way around there the holes in the end are 1.0 uh, so they're one inch squares and they're centered on the upper portion so that eliminates this bottom half of this down here okay so we'll go f we'll go from there so what we're going to do is we're going to actually sketch this part out here on the side and just extrude it back that way so we'll go to AutoCAD go ahead and click new and it said that that base of that was um, 3.5 long so we can do this right here in this view so we'll create a polyline that is ortho on hit f8 3.5 this way we're going to go up two we're going to go over this way 0.5 all right oops i think something messed up for me didn't work right you to undo yeah there we go i'm gonna go that way 0.5 uh and then i will come down um 1.5 go over this way should be three um nope Looks like I'm a little off on that one, so it's going to be hit undo, and it's going to be 2.5. Then I'm going to go up this way, um, 1.5. Go this way, 0.5, and then C to close. So that should be the entire length of the part. All right, so let's see if I... Um, I'm going to type DI to double check. So DI and enter, it'll give me the distance so I can so from here to here is 3.5, and that's correct. And the DI and enter from here to here is two so that's right and it's all a polyline so we should be in good shape so I'll click home there and um, we'll go ahead and extrude that and since it was two inch square on the end we'll just go ahead and make that two now what I want to do next is I don't like the way that's laying down because it doesn't exactly look the way we want it to we want to have the base down on the bottom of it so I'm gonna go back to this and I will click 3d rotate click this part right here right click and I'm gonna click the red part right here and I'm gonna rotate it down let's see which way am I gonna I'm gonna rotate it upward it looks like upwards gonna rotate it in the direction we want it to go so it positions it correctly so let's change this here so we can see what goes on we'll change this to conceptual and you can see that it's rotated it upward now we have to center that other part on this part here on the end of it so what we can do is we can go ahead and click left or right I'm gonna go ahead and um, click the right side view right there and I'm going to change this back to 2D wireframe because I want to center it on this upper part there so it was 1.5 on the top there um, uh, so actually I'll go back to this so I know I want to center it on that that top part there in here um, but I want to use this view because that's inside it there but I want to use this view because I'm going to go ahead and make a square so I've got to change my UCS UCS enter and then I'm going to change it around the x-axis first 90 and then UCS enter around the Y axis a 90 and so it positions it so it's I'm on the XY plane so I'll go ahead and click the polyline and I'm gonna go down one go over one go up one and then C to close and I'm gonna extrude it farther than uh, the rest of that's worth uh, or the not the rest of the piece so it's gonna be longer than three inches that ought to be good then I'll do move it the same way we moved in the last one I'm gonna move this one right that piece right there right click and my base point is gonna be shift right click and click the midpoint of that part right there and I'm gonna shift right click and move it to the midpoint over here on this one now if we switch to looking at it this way it's not centered in that part right there so I can type DI and enter and look at something like this and then shift right click and go to the perpendicular right here and even though it says that it's seven um, or 0 0.71, if we actually look at the distance there in either delta Y or delta Z, um, we're looking for Y if we look at the UCS icon over here. That was 0 0.5. So we want to actually move this. We want to move it down this way, 0.25. Uh, 
that centers it in that upper portion of it there. So let's go back to this. We want to make sure it goes through the whole part. Um, if we switch to conceptual, you see that it's right on the end. So we'll click subtract and what we want to keep, we select first, then you hit enter and then you select what you want to get rid of. And that's that part right there. And that's the entire part. All right. Double click the mouse wheel. Go ahead and click save. We are going to save that one as 206-6-39, and it is a rod support. All right, and we'll click Save there. Go ahead and print that. We're going to change this to DWG to PDF. Extents, center the plot, preview. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Right-click and plot, and once you do this part, this is what you're going to submit. You'll submit that PDF file right there. So make sure it's the PDF file that you submit when you make your, submit your tests.